No hidden cameras, no guns and no plan. I know the truth. That's all I have to remind myself. The truth is that I did not have a plan. We did not have a plan, not just Tamiichi. We did not have a plan to create a havoc and to undermine our community or a plan to kill, to kidnap. We did not have a plan. This week, Tame Wairere Iti returned to the site that sparked charges of terrorism and a $6 million court case. Why would I or any other people want to do that? That's crazy stuff. Place Tame Iti. Iti and three others were charged with crimes under the Firearms Act and the Crimes Act in 2007. Police released surveillance footage claiming military training. Iti claims they were way off target. I, I remember being brought up in Durataki, one of the most, um, one of the games we play with cowboy and Indians, running around with bow and arrows. So in fact, we used to use shotguns and take the pellets out and use mace chopping through the barrels and sometimes I, I become an Indian, another weekend I become a cowboy. And so I, I got a, a scar right over here as the evidence of a, a, a mishap. But there was nothing innocent about the police raids across the country from Kohanga to Kainga. It's led to quite ugly memories in the hearts well, and minds of kids in the valley. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess it because I wasn't here. I understand I'm probably one of the first lot there, the first hit, uh, they, they tell a real gun how you start. Do you blame yourself for that No, no, the, the that Crown is responsible for that. They created that. I'm not responsible for that. You know, and, um, at the, at, the, at the police, who, at the spies were, um, were smart enough, then they, they could have had, uh, spoken to the police LA officer, they could have come out and have a chat with me about it. War had many, many versions of going to war, and putting a leaflet and a pamphlet is a non-violent action. I have done many of that. Uh, the issue of an eviction notice is those are part of the, of the exercise of our own propaganda. So I do use the term, we go to war, uh, in their sense. So it, it sort of depends how you interpret that. I have people from all around the country in the, in the last 30, 40 years that have come to me, they say they want to go to war. And I say, do you want to die tomorrow? After more than four years of legal battles, millions in legal costs. The whole four of us, you know, those last few hours waiting for the, uh, for the jury to make a decision. And, um, you know, and, and the young ones started to kind of get all worried and understandably. And a hung jury. The tea has returned home to Ruatuki and is off the merry-go-round for now. Are you guilty of anything? No. Even the charges have been, uh, the six charges I've got, or whatever they are, no. no. Why not? What about the firearms? Because it's not true. It's not true. It's not even real. It's not even hardcore, uh, not even hardcore evidence of that. I had to live with that. I had to live to something that's not even real. Do you have any regrets about, say, what happened to, you know, a lot of people were hurt during that time and the memories that they're going to have, yeah, you know, yeah, do you have any yeah, regret? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, um, yeah, no, for sure. I, I mean, I, I had to travel through those thoughts myself. He's got a long road ahead. He may still face a retrial. For now, the wheels of justice haven't slowed, and neither has it. So I am a cyclist, and uh, people actually don't believe me. <laughs> so take you on, my friend. <laughs> Your bugger, they say, I'll take you on. I'm nearly 60, a quarter grandfather. I'm trying to average around about 100 k's a week or more. I'm, I'm in the lowest scale 
diabetic. And so it's also the other reason I um, need to work about physical exercise. It's just off these roads in Ruatoki that police filmed the training exercise. Iti claims it was never secret, that they never tried to hide it, and that they were never in the Urewera. That's dumb. Dumb charges. I mean, it was in my backyard. Just out here. Not deep in the Urewera. I don't know where they got that. Do you go? You know? What about the use of the word Urewera? Here you four were labelled with that name, the Urewera Four. Yeah, I, I, I guess that's the, the nature of the beast, of propaganda. Uh, they will use anything there to uh, undermine indigenous people to hoi. Iti paints a different picture. Throughout the court case, he sketched the unfolding events that accused the artist of being a terrorist. Yeah, that's scary stuff. That's really scary stuff for me. For, for, the, for the police to create that picture. Mm. Create that picture. The Crown is good at that. They do the plot. They created a plot. They create this own madness. They spy on us. My house bugged. My phone's bugged. Have you ever killed anyone? No, 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 no. Have you ever I mean, bombed I anyone? I confront people verbally. I mean, I don't have any hidden agenda. I'm very pacific and clear about my thoughts. I put it out there. I will tell you. There's my ferocious beast. Bodyguard this fella. Any more trouble um, for you for Tommy Wairere Iti on the horizon? Trouble? <laughs> you could still go to jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there are. Yeah, th that's, that's a possibility. Uh, that's a possibility, but we've got to go through that. You know, and. Uh, but they'll never be able to lock my soul. It's free. <laughs>